sun, moon, and stars into it. Greetings, suns and moons, and of course I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate the likes, the donations, the shares, the confirmations you send me through email. The positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself in overall the positive way you show up in the planet. Now with that being said, let's get in there like a swimwear. Okay. I'm here stuck in a rut. Okay, stuck in between a rock and a hard place. That last reading that I did pertains to this one, most definitely. Now, interesting enough, before I turned on the camera, I heard you did it to to yourself. You did it to yourself here. Um, but I'm going to relay it as they did it to themselves. Somebody is uninspired in their current situation. They lack creativity. This person is very draining and confusing. I feel like somebody's on the fence. Do they want to stay? Do they want to go? Um, first and foremost, this person was staying stuck. Okay. Because they have blind faith. But I feel like this person has lost faith, especially if this is a family dynamic. Your family or a third party's family, take it how it resonates here. Somebody was refusing to see the truth, acknowledge the truth, and make a clear, decisive decision. Okay. I'm hearing despicable, despicable actions. Two people are being judged in this situation, okay? So we got the lovers and then we have uh, the Beelzebub. Now, on my other channel a few years ago, I noticed <laughs> something when I looked at these two cards, okay? How ironic is that? So we have a high vibrational couple and we have a lower vibrational couple. Of course, this could be... Um, two different people, but this could also be a choice between a higher level commitment, something that is nourishing, okay, something that feeds the soul, rather something that um, drains the soul, something that keeps you in debt and in low vibration. Somebody's working really hard in their current situation here. This is their choice. This is their choice, okay. Somebody may be working hard to keep something secret or keep someone confused. There's a contract here. Okay. Somebody may be petitioning other vibrational entities or other worldly entities is what I'm getting here. So for some of you, of course, there was a judgment. There was a judgment here. All right. And somebody chose to stay in this contract, this contract that they got to work really hard for. Maybe they bound themselves. Who knows? I mean, we do see Beelzebub and we see the Eight of Pentacles here. All right. Um, however, I was also picking up the energy of Muse, Muse. So for some of you, this person lacks creativity. They lack inspiration in their current situation, or this is you. But you felt bound, or this person felt bound um, to this contract. It could be a marriage. It could be petitioning otherworldly energies or entities, okay? Whatever the, the circumstances is, somebody is restricted. They, they're bound. They have to go through probably 10 or 12 years okay of indecisiveness or debt okay that they have to work out in this current situation and or pay back all right but however there is a earth angel type of energy a guardian angel a celestial being or body ascended master somebody that balances the situation whether if they are considered dark or light okay that they see as a muse. This person may be amused by you or you are amused by this person. They secretly put you on a pedestal here. Okay. Now, this individual is riding the fence for a very long time. Okay. Do they want to come in and collaborate with you or stay in their current situation? But something is holding them back. And I believe somebody or something has something over this person's head. So here we have it. We got the two of cups. And the Ten of Cups. This person knows um, who is uh, nourishment or fuel, who, are, who is fuel for their soul. But something 
keeps this person restricted in this current situation, bound in this current situation. Y'all see, I got the, you know, you know that that I got the fatigue zone. So that's the indication of uh, something here. Okay, I was guided to put this on. Haven't worn in a while, but we're talking about a choice. Okay, do you choose yourself? Okay, do you operate out of your higher self or do you stay stuck, suppressed? Because it just it's like a it's like a dookie avalanche here. Okay. It's it's it's, it's not gonna get any better. However, some of these people are smart enough to know they're gonna have to do more. Okay, they're gonna have to do more because of whatever they participated in in secret, surrounding someone's foundation, home, marriage. It may be even a celebration here. Maybe somebody went to a celebration here. <laughs> um, somebody got married at work. That's interesting. I just, that's, of course, that's not going to be for everybody. Not, <laughs> somebody got married at work. Uh, listen. Or somebody wants to marry you and collaborate with you. However, you know, I got a doppelganger, a copycat, a replica, a clone. I want to be me, but try and do it better than me. An English professor, a WhatsApp bandit, and a voodoo high priest or priestess all floating through that comment section. But also got a lot of love. Ooh, look at that. That voodoo high priest or priestess is promising to get your love back for a small fee of $39.99. All you got to do is sign your life away on the dotted line. Do not fall for the okie doke people. Somebody in their feelings. If you have to bend someone's will for them to be with you or for you to be with them, they don't need you and you definitely don't need them. This is past, present, or future energies. Parts may resonate with you, parts may not. Take what's for you and leave the rest. The Empress wanted to come out. This could be somebody in your environment, a boss, an ex, a co-worker, uh, you know, a family member. You may or may not know these individuals. Any and all information that you need about me or regarding this reading. Shall be in the description box below, including the link where you can copy and paste that in your browser and receive a free birth chart from a reputable site. No affiliation to me. Be mindful the scammers are scamming. I will not solicit you for my services. I do not ask for donations and my personal sessions have been closed for years. Okay. Um, mm, mm, mm. I want to welcome back all my loyal viewers, subscribers, especially my members, those of you that donate to me, those of you that watch the ads, those of you that pray for me and send me healing energies. I really do appreciate the support. Okay. You are much appreciated over here. We got the Hierophant Taurus energy, but don't necessarily have to be uh, a Taurus. You could be a public figure. You could be the logic, the logical person, the reasonable person. People come to you for advice or they go to this person. Okay, but what I'm picking up here before I move on, we got Taurus, uh, the Emperor, we're talking about Aries, and recently, um, I've been guided to put Cap in there, so we got Taurus, Libra, Cap, most definitely, we got Capricorn here, um, the Leo, Leo, the Leo, <laughs> Leo, okay, but it could be any sign, just depending on what, um, house or what, uh, like. Sun, moon, rising, Mars, um, Venus, what element or aspect you are operating out of. Okay. Hold on. Now, if I sound a little windy, it's because I, I hit them stairs and I'm getting better, you know? Now, interesting enough, <laughs> um, while I was downstairs, I heard, give me two pair. I want two pair. And I'm saying, is somebody buying some shoes? Or does somebody need to get grounded? There could be a Pisces in this situation. Um, somebody lost their footing. But this could also be an indication of some type of her faction. Faction? I had to look that up. Uh, service member. Okay. Whew. Don't don't look too good for this emperor here. In reverse, for some of you, this is an absent father. Okay. Um, this could be someone that's codependent. This could be a marriage that's separating here. Somebody's losing their stability. This person may have been. 
overly confident, egotistical even. This person was for sure. They may be showing up as a little bit tyrannical. Is that a word? A tyrant. This person is a tyrant. Okay, this, this is somebody that likes to dominate. This is a di dictator. If this is somebody's husband, which it is, okay, but it could also be a distorted masculine. Of course, it could be a feminine as well, but, you know, to be fair, it is the emperor we're talking about, okay? Somebody could have lost a position, um, employment even, maybe even a home with the emperor and the four of wands here uh, in reverse, <laughs> So, interesting enough, we got the, what is this, the Page of Swords. So, somebody's been doing their research. They should, they, they, they waited a little bit too long to do it, though, is what I'm picking up. Okay. Um, this is someone that is a, by any means necessary type of energy. Okay. This is someone that is, is willing to bend the truth if they have to, to get what they want. We're talking about the page of swords. This is somebody that does something because they believe they could get away with it without any repercussions. They don't even pay attention to the repercussions of their actions because they're arrogant. Okay. Um, this person likes maturity, obviously. They were not uh, aware, okay, of this contract. Or somebody's not aware of the extremes this person would go to to get what they want. This is somebody that's very vain. They're also worried about something being taken from them. Okay. I'm hearing a release from a contract as well. Somebody that you released. Okay. Maybe doing research on you. Or maybe somebody did research on someone and released that person. OK, um, I do feel like whatever it is, this person having is having some form of legal issues or maybe they're getting bad news surrounding their foundation, a home or whatever. So this is what somebody's waiting for, whether if it's you or a third party. And I do feel like somebody was, you know, her ones and two. Somebody was doing their ones and twos on the Empress. Hmm. Um. This could be somebody that released you for egotistical purpose, thinking that they were going to win. You know, again, this is someone, this is a tyrant. This is somebody that's overly confident, arrogant. All right. This is somebody that wants it now. They want it now. And they got it. They gave an offer to someone. I feel like you were in the dark about this offer that was given to someone. Maybe somebody offered somebody something to somebody. Let's see. Why is the emperor here? You can show me what it is. Maybe this person, you know, this offer is being delayed. They may be stuck in a belief system or something like that. Could be legal issues as well. Could be problems with an institution. But I do feel like somebody's heartbroken or in disarray. I'm hearing dismay. Maybe their house is disheveled. Their energy is disheveled here because of some sort of contract or a belief about a contract. Let's see. So we got the court gesture and the vo yeah, and refusal to change. I mean, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory here. Um, this person, if they don't use bippity boppity poo. They, again, they lie to get what they want. But see, this is somebody getting a dose of their own medicine with the Ten of Swords right on top of this Emperor in reverse. Okay. Um, we're talking about a complete painful ending for someone. Mm, mm, mm. Um, now, this Empress here, I feel like I'm getting maybe two or three aspects of this Empress. For some of you, this is a, a, a wife and a husband situation or um, Empress Divine Feminine. If you are single and you have like a corrupt con man, uh, um, somebody that you have children with, 
somebody that wanted to have children with you. This could also be a distorted masculine, somebody that you may have felt was your divine masculine. They, you know, they're in they a, to swim upstream. Certain words, you know, I don't want to trigger the algorithm here, but they're having to swim up uh, upstream here. Okay. And I feel like um, divine feminine, you may be in a recovery process. You're leaving this abusive, tumultuous relationship, okay? You may be, um, like, overcoming some materialism. You are becoming a person of status, or you are completing a cycle. You may be starting something new, uh, buying something new. Yeah. Are you just getting a new out outlook? You're waiting for some sort of clarity with the two of wands. You're getting a new outlook, or you're approaching something different. OK, you could be um, planning to travel or something like that. Yeah. Or moving. I feel like there is altercations taking place, arguments surrounding this empress. Again, it's going to be different for everyone. Some of you, you may have stayed complacent, stuck because of like what society thinks about you know maybe this is marriage or tradition something like that but nonetheless somebody was depressed here yeah there's some sort of contract with covenant here something was released from you you have to go through some sort of battle here this person may have ruined you financially or attempted to maybe this person used tradition as a means to do so so we're gonna put this here i'm gonna put this here and we're going to put this back here. What's up under here? Judgment. Yeah. Um, all right. It sucks. It sucks to be the boss. Oh, I feel like somebody's not, they're not bossy no more. Or maybe they're dealing with somebody that's bossy. Nonetheless, it's a whole bunch of arguments taking place surrounding this empress. What this empress is creating. Who this empress wants or who wants this empress. Because somebody definitely wants this empress. They're attracted to you, empress. You're attracted to them. Okay. Um, this could be somebody that's getting out of a contract. Could be business and or personal. And they want to come to you. This person may be, you know, researching you or watching you work. Okay. Rather, somebody works from home. You're thinking about working from home. What's this? Oh, I went on the sun. <laughs> so, yeah, we're we talking about <clears throat> somebody that wants to come and build something with you. Now, for some of you, this could be your divine counterpart, but um, I'm getting like this is somebody that wants to work with you. So this would be the our retribution prize. <laughs> this would be your how do I put this? This would be your divine counterpart, even if. It's not your traditional DM, okay? This is somebody that's on your level here, all right? And that that, that went to the sun card. Um, however, there is a family dynamic that is breaking apart. Now, this could be a business, um, like somebody has a business, a family-based business, and it's, it's hard for this person to leave because there's a contract here. Okay, and somebody's definitely looking into someone's finances. The Hierophant, deception. So there was some sort of deception surrounding a belief system, an institution, a marriage. And somebody is wanting to move towards calmer waters. This is somebody that wants a victory. I feel like somebody found out something. And they may be keeping their mouth closed. Somebody feels burdened by what they found out or by a contract here. Ten of Swords. Why is this here? Yeah. So we got an unfinished lesson here. Somebody does not want what this person is offering. Could be you or a third party again. Or they feel like they missed out on the opportunity and having to change their perspective here. This is somebody that's, that's going through their mental roller dicks and saying, am I people pleasing? OK, somebody's changing their perspective of what they want or what is nourishing or fulfilling to them. That's what I'm getting. Um, for some of you, somebody was celebrating getting this contract. 
Okay, it was short-lived. For some of you, maybe somebody thought somebody was your DM. Yeah. Somebody was doing something for fame or for status. This was somebody's uh, uh, wish fulfillment here. But, you know, somebody's plans fell apart. And I feel like in any scenario, whether if this is a false flame, uh, somebody that you have children with, um, or a marriage, whatever was planned or orchestrated, it fell apart. Somebody's foundation went crumbling down. This is somebody that's very opinionated. opinionated. They're also argumentative if they don't get what they want. You know, the four of wands in reverse could talk about lack of creativity or imagination as well. Somebody has deep, dark thoughts, okay? Yeah, somebody could also be researching how to keep their foundation, um, you know, but this is something that is like, oh, like debt it has to be repaid. I don't know how or why. Um, maybe this is an individual that participated in something diabolical. OK, this person is uh, having some illness or depression. OK, um, they're not able to produce this could be somebody that did something in excess. They may also have ED. I just had to put that out there. Now, if you're experiencing any emotional upheavals, financial, if you need like assistance with housing or something like that, mental health, physical health, seek out the proper authorities. This reading is for entertainment purposes only. Okay. I feel like somebody was fine and found out something about an institution and or a marriage or what they thought to be true about someone is not true. Yeah. So, yeah, in the past, somebody was deceptive here. They were going to someone for counseling. Someone may have said, don't go that way. Go the other way here. Somebody is trying to project uh, what they think is right on someone else. But somebody has a totally different be uh, belief system than whoever this is they went to for advice. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Yeah, they were in a faded situation. So this is someone, um, they, you know, more than likely, this is somebody that has a partnership and they're not happy in their partnership. So it's one of those, it's cheaper to keep, a, uh, you know, uh, it, and sad to say happy, happy wife, happy life. It should be happy partners, right? It should be happy partners. So somebody has an outdated belief system, at least in my opinion. All right. So for some of you, this is a faded situation. Somebody offered... Uh, love, um, commitment, maybe there was a, a child there and this person, you know, chose to marry this person, okay? Um, but they're stuck in a rut with a fortune on the fence. This, this, it didn't, it looked like the sensible thing to do. This person may have also already been engaged or married or something like that um you know it could have been to someone that they were back and forth with okay there was some sort of soul tie all right this person may have came to you in a time where they were depressed or, or distressed maybe you were uh, in the midst of a transition as well okay it's you know we're talking about a faded situation taking accountability and or responsibility of your energy and your actions okay so for some of you this could be a past life soulmate someone uh that you kept going back to for whatever reason that contract needed to be voided out and it looks like that's indeed what happened Okay, so somebody took a leap of faith and they flopped. This is a court gesture. This is someone that uh, entertains the people around them. In the upright, this would be like this gesture would be someone that entertains this emperor. But with this combination, this is someone that goes like they, they're really showy. Okay, they're really showy. Um, they have a... They come from a dark place. This is somebody that feels empty inside. They 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 refuse to change, or this is you. Okay? This is somebody that pays a lot of attention to the outside or the way things appear on the outside because they're very superficial. They're scattered, self-centered even. Okay? They're a tyrant. They lack direction. This is an emperor in reverse is somebody that cannot lead this empress. Now, it may have looked like they could because, you know, 
if somebody had an outdated belief system, this would be someone that overspends, you know, they're not good with money. They they may have multiple families because they, you know, they got to have a backup plan. Okay. Um, so because someone took the advice of someone that was deceptive, it, call, it caused the will to turn. Okay. You may have felt like you lost out on something. But it was the completion of a cycle for some of you. However, this person that judged you or misjudged you and gave someone else an offer because it looked good, it looked like the ethical and moral and righteous thing to do, so they they feel, um, you know, they needed to follow their heart uh, for some of you here because somebody definitely um, loved you or you loved this person. OK, um, you know, no doubt there was love here, but this person was deceptive. OK, they were in the midst of learning a lesson and or possibly teaching one, but they didn't want to take accountability and they didn't want to take responsibility for themselves. This is somebody that stayed in the connection because, again, it's cheaper to keep her or him or somebody got money. Somebody got some sort of fame. Um, they got a home, you know, if they partnered with this person or you did for frivolous reasons, then what happens when all that gets taken? Um, you know, um, one of the beliefs, you know, I haven't checked the statistics, but one of the beliefs is I think the statistics rates for marriage is not working it has to deal with finances, right? I mean, and whether if you agree with it or not, if you marry someone, right? I'm not saying stay with somebody until, you know, until they take you down. But, you know, I'm old school. I feel like you should weather the storm. You know, it says for, for better or for worse, right? But when you're with someone that is only with you for material gain, clout, fame, status, when all that gets taken away, because for some of you, it, it did. What do you have then? Do you go back to the person that you truly loved and didn't give them an offer because they wasn't the empress yet? Or do you just take that, that L, that lesson, and move on and hopefully complete the cycle? But with this star card here on the fence and this two of wands, somebody's still arrogant, okay? Um, they have a problem <clears throat> completing cycles, making choices. They also may be having issues um, traveling or moving forward or something. Somebody, Somebody's stuck here. This is somebody that spins beyond their means. And they keep getting everywhere they're talking, everywhere this person turns, they're getting more signs and synchronicities that their circle just isn't right. Their choices just isn't right. Okay. Somebody doesn't feel supported. Four of Wands, why is this here? Yeah. Somebody's trying to like refinance. Somebody could have also been injured. So they're losing their stability. Oh yeah, look at that. They're losing their still stability. Something came to an end. The soul contract. Somebody went, they, they went through a lot <laughs> uh, to keep this foundation together. They may even be resulting to something unethical or even illegal. Uh, the Empress, why is this here? Mm, yeah, yeah, they, this person is getting turned down. They want to come through and give you some information. I don't know, every time, lately when I look at this cup of this fish, I, 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 I get the energy of something smells fishy. Like, it's like the Empress knows something that is up. If you're still married to this person, in a home with this person, yeah. If this is you, you there is, you know, some this this emperor in reverse is doing. They're not doing. They mm -mm. 
Mm -mm. It's not. It don't look too good. Um, if this is a marriage. Now, of course, that's not going to be everybody, but somebody's trying to stay in a situation, I feel, because they don't want someone else to have um, you or you don't want this person to have someone else. Somebody is so scared that somebody's going to be successful once they leave that it keeps them bound. Uh, Empress, you need, you, you need to follow your intuition. Because as you can see, this person is empty. They don't, they're not fulfilling. They don't feed your soul. This, this person, um, they take a lot of risks with the gestures here. Okay. But it's like, this is a comfort person. Like if you're the empress, you got, you know, you got your stuff together, whatever. You may have a home, a business. This is good for you. But this is somebody that you keep going back to, keep opening the doors to because you don't want to be alone. And that's something that you need to overcome. That's not something, you know, um, that you get complacent with, that you get comfortable with. Because things are supposed to change. And this person is refusing to change. Her. Talk to the hand. <laughs> Talk to the hand. Um, Bills of Bob Wise is here. For some of you, you could have went to a celebration with this person. Or this person wants to celebrate something with you. Because here we have judgment on the fence. A new beginning. And the two of ones. Two of ones here and the two of ones there. Look, somebody's injured. They can't, you know... I don't know if they got something going on down there, but they're not able to, you know, somebody got ED because of their addictions or it could be any type of addiction here. Somebody had a lapse in judgment. They're trying to deny it. I feel like hmm, this person may have went off to the hospital. Child, look, something happened at a celebration. Okay, uh, if somebody was trying to attach an entity to you, mm -mm, they celebrated too soon. If they were trying to send you some negative energy, oh, we're talking about that hit. That 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 reversal hit different. Now somebody want to come in. They going they thinking about it. Somebody thinking about look, I shouldn't have did that. Or somebody's thinking about coming in, telling you some sort of truth. Cause baby, somebody felt like they was gonna win. They thought that they was going to win, but that action, I believe that's Gabriel. You see, look, we talking about the higher ups, the temperance angel was there. <laughs> he said, not today. Um, what's that? Contraire mon frere? <laughs> oh, man, listen. Um. We're going to go ahead and take this on over to the other side. Because this is an interesting one right here. Ether, give me some parting messages for whoever's in this energy. If you would like to join the membership, a link will be in the description box below. Tier 2, Tier 3 gets you to access to this reading. All my members, we will see you on the other side here. We got surrender to the wisdom of your body. Okay, we got the warrior here. Surrender unhealthy relationships. We got traveler and trader. This is my tantric card. Now on my <laughs> on my other channel, I feel like this came out before. Maybe somebody was watching this reading. This combination came out before. Somebody, you know, they got extracurricular activities when they travel or when you travel. Okay, and you know this is not you. <sighs> Somebody not following their intuition, okay? It's going to be a hurricane. We got to cultivate inner peace on daily on a daily basis in quiet, meditative moments. Focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easy. But yeah, well, that's why they were with you. Because they were sucking up all them good vibes. Now, don't, don't F around and find out because... Because let me tell you, this this somebody ain't got no loyalty. They already got a backup plan. Oh, trust and believe they in somebody here. 
We're talking about somebody stepping out on a partnership. They already got somebody that if you travel for a living or they travel, oh, they, they, there's multiple peoples here. And, and I'm hearing that Papa was a rolling stone. We're talking about the emperor in reverse. This person may have multiple children that they don't take care of, but they got a marriage here. Ooh, child. All right. For those that are interested, I see you on the other side. Deuces.